overall it was good to see from a, a budget perspective that the government maintained consistency with the po policies um, and apart from that what was good to see that they maintain the broad track of fiscal consolidation despite this being an election year. Uh, there was also recognition and understanding that uh, we need to look at aspects that would address the competitiveness of the industries, uh, particularly in areas like tourism, construction, that have been wanting. Uh, so it was good to see some of the proposals address some of those areas. The government also looked to uh, promote investment uh, so there were enhanced capital allowances for new investments, although the thresholds possibly could be argued uh, were a little bit on the high side, uh, but ultimately it's still encouraging to see that uh, some of the other policies that they came out with in terms of uh, promoting investments, particularly in the rural areas, looking to drive entrepreneurship uh, through the different schemes is encouraging though again implementation will be the key aspect that needs to be looked at. From a revenue perspective uh, there was a lot of uh, focus on uh, duties being one of the key areas to uh, sort of maintain or improve revenue uh, so that that will be one of the key challenges that need to be addressed. Um, from a John Keels group perspective uh, we were encouraged to see that some areas, particularly in the tourism area, as I said, from a macro perspective, it, it is one of the lowest hanging fruit for the country uh, to drive tourism as an industry. And we saw uh, the government bringing in certain uh, initiatives uh, to drive foreign revenue, the exemption on NBT, uh, exemptions to uh, enable refurbishments of hotels and so on, as well as from a construction sector point of view, the removal of NBT and certain commitments to remove uh, cessors. Now on that I think the key thing that needs to be looked at is to have a clear transparent roadmap for removal of cess uh, but it is still encouraging that the government has maintained consistency in its commitment to remove uh, para tariffs. Um, we also saw that the government has looked to address the issue of uh, the workforce so encouraging more flexi hours um, uh, enabling uh, more participation of women in the labor force, uh, those are good aspects that will ultimately help the economy as well as even the group.